So I've been uh, wanting to um, plasti dip the window surround on my Miata and make it black so it's different from the uh, body of the color body, which is a copper red. So this is what I found. Uh, when you do apply plasti dip, make sure you remove the tape every time um, and apply fresh tape with uh, with every before it dries. So if you're doing like three coats, after the three coats, remove it before it dries. Because after what happens is, the mistake I made is, you can see right over here, the um, you're pulling the tape and the plastic dip just rips off with it. So then what I did to make this a little bit smoother, it still looks like crap. You can sand it with 400 grit and water which takes forever. Plasti dip is not like paint because it's rubbery. Uh, what, what you could do is get some paint thinner and uh, just a little dab and just massage it because it eats it away. But then after you eat it away, um, you're going to have to... Uh, what I did is I cleaned it with alcohol and then repaint it. But uh, what I found is with the uh, clear... the clear clarifier, I think it's called... The texture is not as nice as I'd like it, but uh, you can see here, the texture is way nicer, and this is just the matte uh, Plasti Dip, so sure it's more shiny, but it's not it's still rough. I think I would prefer this. I would just stick with this and put some back to black uh, mother's back to black on it and it and it still brings out the shine and it protects it so this is this is the, the product i'm talking about it seems to um do well with plasti dip it doesn't eat it away makes it nice and shiny so that product on there and i wouldn't recommend the clarifier Sorry, uh, it's actually called Glossifier. Okay, yeah, so the Glossifier. This is this is the Plasti Dip. It's just matte black. Seventeen dollars Canadian at Home Depot. Same with this, but um, it says it's a fade buster. Again, I don't think I'll be be buying this. I've already done really nice things with this, uh, just alone, um, like the rims. Here's one set of rims. Well, they're a bit dirty. That's the one thing with, uh, with Plasti Dip. It does get dirty pretty fast, especially in the winter. To keep it looking nice, you have to uh, use a lot of mothers. <laughs> but uh, it actually looks better than it looks in this video because of the flash. It brings out all the dirt. And then here's the other car. This one's like a year older application. Still looks okay. I think I only did one can on this whole car. So it's a very thin coating. It's only like maybe three coats, two and a half ish. Um, which, you know, I don't really care because you, you apply, I think, more coats if you want to peel it easily, which I'm not going to peel on this. So I don't really care. But yeah, you can see here. Um, this is just a regular matte finish Plasti Dip. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better and even maybe even shinier. If you apply the Mother's Black, it's smoother and shinier. And you can see all the defects where I pulled off. <sighs> now to fix that, it's going to take some time. Working on it with rims was a lot easier than doing this because of this, these edges and the rubber gasket and everything. I pulled it off, it actually broke some of the, oh, you can see here, I, can add, I have to apply more. It just broke, it just ripped off right off the, uh, right off of there. So I already applied some Plasti Dip again, but I will need to apply more of that. So there you go. That's my experience with uh, using Plasti Dip. For my next job, I was going to do the Plasti Dip roof on the CX-5. I don't know. If I will, but if I do, I'll keep you guys posted. Cheers.